So uh, my truck was in the shop for a day this week and while it was there I went down to the workshop and made these sconce lights. What I want to do now is get them installed up here on these two outlets that I left. These are DC powered bulbs which I love running my lighting off of DC because it's just one more reason you don't have to turn on the inverter. Hmm. Well, <laughs> snag number one, these don't fit on. They're hitting the bulb. So let's get these ready. Squared off to this one side here, but the top's not squared off, neither is the bottom. Um, this is squared to this, so I really just have to check this one side for level. If it looks unlevel, it's an obstacle illusion. Obviously, this thing is not hanging straight. rip my thumbnail. <laughs> I had to drill the back of this one out to get it to go in over that screw. I didn't recess that screw enough. But that seems to be holding. I better do all of them. That's better. That one's pretty tight. These two lamps are in parallel, are going to be in parallel on the same circuit, so the wire coming from the bottom is the source. Let's just cut them one at a time just in case I have a fuse in it. I think I do. And then the next wire will go over. This one I'm holding, I don't know if you can tell, but it is coming from the bottom, so it's the source of the power. And then this one that I'm going to connect right here goes over to the other light. So that is the power source, and then this is running over to the other light. Wire pushed in there. There we go. All right. All right, let's get power to these guys. We'll, uh, we'll do a little refresher since there's a lot of new viewers, but this is my power center, so it's solar. This is my battery bank, and this panel here is my main DC panel, and it just distributes DC power to major uses and to sub-panels. So from this panel, I've got a wire that runs through here and over here to this panel here and just due to the nature of DC power it's easier and cheaper to run circuits on one side of the house off of a sub panel so let's get a fuse in here so I remember I said those are four watt bulbs so eight watts divided by 24 volts is about a third of an amp and the smallest wire is 14 gauge so theoretically we could use a 15 amp fuse but we're gonna put a 5 amp fuse in here and it looks like they work, but for effect, let's turn it off and turn it on so you can see. All right, let's test these guys out. Cool. Looks like they work. I wish that I could fit those uh, mason jars on. I'll have to get smaller bulbs or bigger jars. But that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, next task, now that we got those sconce lights up, is to finish this loft, but we've got to do couple things before we can start throwing boards up and the first is we've got to run wires for the light that's going to go over the kitchen table. All right let's see if we can get some wire here. Get in our old trusty toolbox. All right there's our negative wire. Right, and I think I've got the positive wire in the back seat of the truck. Ah, there we go. There it is. All right, 
So we've got to go from our other sub fuse panel up and through the wall there into that bay that I left. That's through here. That should be enough to be able to grab it. My friend Chris is here. He's gonna help me do shingles. Right, Chris? Yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> He's being sarcastic. Hooray. I'm gonna cut, Chris is gonna put down boards. I got some more tongue and groove pine, except it's not from Menards, it's from a local lumber, lumber yard called Reckworth that supplied lumber to the Wright brothers. And um, it's a higher quality, so it's gonna look a little bit different. There's less knots, uh, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. How do you see what the groove up? Yeah. yeah. The quality check looks like. So you need probably three and three eighths. Three and three eighths on both sides, or just uh, pretty three? pretty close to three and three eighths on both sides. All right, I, I'll go. I, cool. I still have wiggle room on this. All right. <laughs> will it go in there? Oh, hold on, let me just. I think that'll go down. <laughs> It looks perfect. Here. All right, I'm going to finish these and put the lights in while Chris is cooking dinner. We're going to put two of these in at the same time. Hopefully it'll be easier to get them to... Oh, man. I still didn't cut that one narrow enough. Alright, well that's going to work, but i got to cut this one narrower.
So we said last week that our spacing, I think, was 33 inches. Let's just double check that. No, it's 30, 31 inches. 31 spacing puts us at 93 and 124, I think. Our tape measure is stuck. There we go. We're doing three inches off the wall. drill down so we can locate these from below. Normally I'd do a little double camera or you know you show the thing poking through the bit but I sold my second camera. Spam. Okay. All right let's go down and drill up. Here's one hole. Thanks to a viewer tip reminder I've got my drill set as slow as it goes so that I don't burn up this bit. Now I'm gonna get user tips not to breathe in silos. Uh, finally. Cool, all of them are in. Let's go get the wire. to go in here which it's relatively easy that's in there good now that one that one's in there good okay what we have to do is positive so put our red in. Put our black and our negative. We're going to leave ourselves some slack just in case we ever have to pull these lights down to change the bulbs or anything like that. There we go. see if those ones work all of these wired I will uh, clamp down those cables here in a bit all right let's see those are the two we just put in yeah nice look at that all of them working and it's good and light over here on this side of the wall kind of well gosh the exposure from the window is kind of screwing with it but you got we do have some good light over there it's just nothing compared to natural light and with these guys it's gonna be really light in here at night Bacon for dinner. <laughs> we needed some uh, cooking oil, so we had to get creative.
beautiful morning. Look at the sun hitting those trees. So we're we're still probably two weeks off of peak foliage, but it's starting to look nice. Chris is inside cooking breakfast, taking care of me. <laughs> he's no Sarah, but he's he's pretty close. <laughs> just just so y'all know, we we split the tasks in our household. She doesn't just take care of me. Breakfast tortillas. Hey guys, so my priorities are kind of all over the place here. I just work on whatever I have inspiration for. But Sarah's priority is to get this into a functioning bathroom area. So if I shingle one section, I can put up this window trim that I made. So that's what I'm going to work on now. There's our starting point. I just don't have the energy to edit another shingle video or make you sit through one so okay this should be enough to get that window sill on so let's go get it and put it on all right so I made these in the shop so the fit in the finish is a little bit off um, I've explained before, they're, they're purely aesthetic, they don't perform any function, so it doesn't really matter if they're a little bit off. Okay, let's check out everything we got done. Um, I sold my camera that goes on my gimbal, so this might be a little shaky, this whole video might be a little shaky, but I'll uh, hold it as still as I can. So. Those inside corners are time consuming. We got this window on. Um, and I can just continue with the shingles later. I did that all in two hours, so that was pretty good. And then of course in here, we got the uh, book matched LED sconce lights made from leftover maple from the countertop. And uh, I'm either going to have to get smaller bulbs or bigger mason jars. But I was pretty happy with how those came out. I thought they looked really nice and they throw a lot of nice light. And then let's check out the loft ceiling. So we got the loft ceiling done. You can probably pick out where the species changes or the grade of pine changes. Um, and then we got the last two of these lights in. Uh, I threw this one up off camera. It's not wired in yet, but uh, that's just going to go right over the kitchen table. Here is the loft from upstairs. So that's going to be a pretty neat space once we can finish it the rest of the way. And uh, we're probably, the finished floor is probably going to be the same floor as the downstairs main room. That's uh, my trigger some people. It's not my intention. Just Sarah and I both really like it. So we're just going to use it again. And the idea of matching when you're up here kind of appeals to us. So we'll have that video. Who knows when. Nice view from the loft. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week.